Hey everyone, it's Hannah, and in this video I wanted to show you how to make these little Christmas tree puff hot pads. And the yarn that I used for this project is called Lily Sugar and Cream, and it's a cotton yarn. And I am using a size H 5mm hook. All right, now to get started, I am going to make a base chain of 23. And once I have 23, I'm going to start in the third chain from the hook and work a half double crochet into each chain. So a half double crochet means you yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull the loop, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. And I'm going to work one half double crochet into each chain. And now that I'm at the end of the chain, I'm going to work my last half double crochet and then chain two and turn. And now I'm going to start my first puff row. So I'm going to work two half double crochets or a half double crochet in each of the first two stitches. And then I'm going to work a puff stitch. So I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook and pull up a loop and then yarn over again, insert my hook into the same space and pull up another loop and then do it one more time. Yarn over, insert into the same space and pull up a loop and then yarn over one more time and pull through all the loops on my hook. Then in the next stitch, I'm just going to work a regular half double crochet and then another puff stitch into the next stitch which is basically like a half double crochet, but I'm just yarning over and pulling up a loop two extra times. And then I yarn over again and pull through all those loops. So I'm just going to keep alternating half double crochet and the puff stitch all the way across the row until um, I'm going to work two half double crochets into the last two stitches um, so that it will look the same as the beginning of the row. So here I am working the last puff stitch of this row. Since I have three stitches left, the last one or the, the third one will be a puff stitch and then the last two 
our half double crochets. All right, and now I'm going to chain two and turn. And the turning chain does not count as a stitch, so I'm going to go right into that first stitch, and now I'm just going to work one row of regular half double crochet. So um, the puff rows will be every other row, and it should always be when the puffs are facing away from you. Um, so that they are all poking out in the same direction. And again, we're just going to work one row of regular half double crochet, and then we'll do another puff row. Now, after you chain two and turn, now we're going to do our um, next puff row and in this row I'm going to start by working three half double crochets at the beginning of the row. Um, since we're making a triangle with the puffs we want to decrease by one puff on each puff row. So I worked three half double crochets and now I'm going to do a puff stitch. And then I'm just going to keep alternating half double crochet with a puff stitch all the way across the row. And then this time I'm going to end the row with three half double crochets in the last three stitches of the row. So when you get to the end and you have four stitches left, um, you should work a, a puff into that first stitch and then the last three stitches should be half double crochet. Okay, and now that we know the basic stitches, all we need to make this hot pad is half double crochet and a puff stitch. And all we're doing is decreasing by one puff on each puff row. Um, so hopefully this chart will be helpful as you are decreasing on each row. Um, if you want, you can pause the video or take a screenshot of it with your phone. You can also print it out on daisyfarmcrafts.com. We have a printable PDF of it in the pattern. Um, another easy way to remember is just to focus on the half double crochets that you're doing at the beginning of each row on the puff rows. So you're just going to be increasing that number on each row. So on the first puff row, we had two half double crochets on each end. And then in the next one, we had three. And in the next one, you'll have four. Um, so if you just pay attention to the number of half double crochets that are at the beginning and the end of each row, then you know that you'll just fill the middle with alternating puffs and half double crochet. Um, but go ahead and... Uh, finish working and making that Christmas tree shape and um, if you're following the chart the circles are puffs and the squares are half double crochets so you'll always be doing one row of half double crochet in between your puff rows. All right now once you've made your square that has the Christmas tree puffs on it you're gonna tie off and weave in the ends for that one and then make another square that's just all half double crochet that it's um, that is exactly the same size so you're just going to chain 23 again and start in the third chain from the hook and just work 19 rows of half double crochet so that it's exactly the same size as the other square and once you have both squares made we're going to crochet them together so um, you want the, the tree to be facing you, the puffs, and um, start in the top left-hand corner and insert your hook through both corners and take your yarn and pull up a loop and chain two. And 
And then we're just going to half double crochet the sides together. So you want to try to work one half double crochet per row. So we have 19 rows, so you can want to try to get about 19 stitches on the side. Um, and I like to kind of just pull the backside toward me a little bit as I'm inserting my hook just to make sure that I'm always kind of inserting my hook into the the same space every time so that it looks a little bit more uniform. And when you get to the corner, you're just going to want to work three half double crochets into the corners. So one, two, three. And then you're just going to keep working um, half double crochet across the end. Again, just trying to um, make sure that your hook is going through both sides so that you're keeping them together. And you want to try to have about um, one half double crochet per stitch on the, on the bottom and the top. And then you're just going to keep working around and when you get to the next corner, you'll work three half double crochets into that corner and then just keep working up the side until you get back to the corner that you started with. So now I'm back at the corner that I started with. So I like to just work a slip stitch and insert my hook just under that chain two that we started with. And then, um, I'm going to chain 10 just so I can make a, a little um, loop that I can hang the, the hot pad on. Um, this is optional. If you'd rather just keep it a square, you can just, you know, slip stitch into that corner and tie off. Um, but I'm just going to chain 10 and then slip stitch back into that corner and then I'm going to tie off and leave myself a, a pretty long tail a little bit longer than usual because um, I like to kind of wrap it just around the bottom of that loop just to keep it a little bit more secure and kind of make it look a little bit better. So I'm just going to wrap it around there a couple times. And then I like to just knot it with, um, that starting chain that we had from the border. I kind of tie that in a knot and then I will just um, weave those ends in with a tapestry needle. Thank you so much for coming to watch this video. I hope that you enjoy making this fun hot pad. Um, the full written pattern is on daisyfarmcrafts.com. Um, there's a link to the pattern in the description of this video, and um, you can also get the chart to make the little puffs for the tree um, on our website as well. So if you do end up making this, please come share a picture with us on Facebook or Instagram. We'd love to see. Um, thank you so much. Have a great day.